factory registration document. We've always considered ourselves problem solvers or solution providers. Ten years ago, we developed laser cutting technology uh, with converting features such as slitting, sheeting, UV coating, laminating, and others. But we always seem to get asked the same question, which is, well, why should we buy laser cutting technology? Instead of answering that ourselves, uh, we went back to our customers and asked them to, to help us out and answer the question. We got a lot of different answers, but there were three main answers that came through. The first one being profitability. The ability to remove traditional tooling uh, to reduce change over time, scrap materials. All those things obviously go directly to the bottom line of any label job and create more profitability for that particular job. Uh, Southern Coatings is a customer of ours. Uh, if you notice, they, they, they reduce labor costs in some jobs up to 60%, uh, and then also reduce scrap levels 50 to 75%. So those were, uh, those were big numbers, and, and numbers that we like to see as laser manufacturers. Number two is just differentiation. The ability for a label manufacturer with a laser cutter to go into their customers and differentiate themselves from their competition. Um, going in and selling virtually any size and any shape of label at no additional cost, uh, obviously that's a big, big uh, benefit for, for Repertory. And then number three, and I think this is true with any new technology, is problem solving. Uh, shorter runs, shorter lead times, we had a customer come to us, uh, FlexiCat, who's a pharmaceutical label manufacturer in Denmark. And they came to us and they needed to run 300 different jobs with hundreds of different label configurations. Uh, and then they needed to track these jobs for packing purposes. And all this needed to, to be done every 24 hours. So the next 24 hours we get another 300 jobs, different label configurations. We obviously knew that, that laser cutting was the way to go. Um, we had some converting options on the machine, laminating, slitting, uh, sheet, but also um, we needed to uh, design something that would allow us to handle all those jobs coming our way at the same time, which is when we, we developed the uh, barcode reading technology for uh, on-the-fly change. The L350 is, is the machine that's in front of you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to, to our head of engineering, Paul Darianzo. He'll take you through the, the software as well as the camera side. Very good. Thank you, Mike. Again, my, my name is Paul Darienzo, Head of Engineering with Spartanix. The theme uh, today that I'm going to discuss is ease of use and flexibility of the Spartanix L350 Spartanix laser die cutting systems. As mentioned, we deal with a lot of other converting options. Here we're showcasing laser die cutting. Uh, we have an earlier show, we did blank labels. This particular job, we're actually showcasing barcode reading. We're actually going to be changing jobs on the fly, reading a barcode, and you're going to see also the speed of the web change as well. So I'm going to turn the system on, it's going to start up, it's going to start reading barcodes, and then as the system is running, I'm going to point out a few of the features of the system running, uh, and we'll take it from there. So right now the systems are ready to go, it's all armed, um, it is going to look for a barcode, and I'm going to go ahead and press the start button. Right now, we're running one particular job. We are reading a barcode. You can see red light scanning each barcode. We are reading a barcode for every single, let's say, row of labels that's coming through. So we're checking to see if that label is what, what die line that label is. Not only that, here comes a job change right now. Take a look at the screen, you're going to see the system automatically speed up, boom, there you go, did you catch that? Right away the system automatically changed jobs, sped up automatically, no operator intervention. This is how FlexiCat Denmark is making profit on a daily basis. Their operator no longer is an operator of the machine, they're now a material handler. This goes to the vision of Spartanus. This goes back about eight, eight or so years ago where a colleague of mine, we were, we were sitting around, we were going, this is fantastic, laser die cutting, boom, you see another job change. I'm not even touching the machine. Reading barcodes on the fly. We were, we were talking to each other, how can we make this a single button operation? What did I just do here? I pressed the start button. I'm now a material handler. 
How do you, do, how do you lower your, your labor costs? You no longer have to have a press operator churning knobs to make sure the dies are perfect. How many of you all have experienced that? This is all now done in pre-press, in digital. Now, there are no dials on the machine. We don't want the operator to touch the machine. We want this, if the strategy is set right, you know, I say strategy, there are more than one way to actually do barcode reading. And I encourage you to understand when, when, when other vendors say barcode reading, what's really happening, okay? A lot of information that gets passed back, passed back and forth, from dial lines, to speed, to Pen setting, when I say pen settings, I mean laser parameters, actually cutting parameters. Then how does the system really know how to cut this profile? They have all this geometry here. How does the laser system actually know, hey, I want to start in a corner. I want to start at this corner or that corner. This is where Spartanix, being the developer of the laser application. Again, we're not only equipment integrators, but we are also the developers of the laser application. This is important when we're doing barcode reading because we can do, we can develop the code to actually take all of these files and we can manipulate them so that it becomes the most efficient, not only die line, but also the most efficient web speed. There's a reason why when I push a button and I can walk away, it's the technology that we have here. The future is now, the future is right here. The optimization of this cutting pad, all that's done on the fly, as soon as it sees that image come in, it does an optimization of where should I start that cutting pad. Each and every single job. And not only that, okay fine, okay we're reading barcodes for every single, every single die cut. Not only that, but we're registering for every single die cut. As you see here in our screen, this is the actual registration mark we're looking at that is defined for each and every single die cut. You notice it's moving around. Why is that important? Anybody dealing with presses? We all know about web weave. Alright? This mark is specifically indicative of where the printing is. We're not only correcting an X, which is very important, also we're correcting an Y. This is all real time, on the fly, X, Y rotation. How is this important to you? This means every single label that leaves this machine is going to be 100% accurate when it goes to your customer. Okay, here, okay, fine, Paul, here you have a registration mark. What happens if we don't print a registration mark? I, I just printed a job. For whatever reason, they, they forgot to add the registration mark. No problem. Spartanix has a solution. This is the same technology you can look at anything that has contrast. So if it's a repeating letter within the name of that label, we can pick up on that contrast and use that as a registration. Powerful. The other thing, another tool we have here, we go into our laser settings. Sharp edges, very critical. Not everybody can do that. Look at all the corners in your sample book. It's, uh, I encourage you to do this. That, that critical word, pinholes. I think we all experience that with laser die cutting. Spartanix has the technology to eliminate, to optimize, to eliminate those pinholes. Anybody doing uh, automatic dispensing knows about these problems. We have the solution to eliminate those. I'm going to step back and I want you just again to take, take a look at how the system just automatically changes jobs on the fly. Our design criteria at FlexiGet was, like was mentioning, 300 jobs a day. Spartanix Engineering and the company is proud to say there are over 500 jobs a day pushing out. Unprecedented job changeover. Why? Operators are now material handlers. They're no longer job changeovers. It's not to say the system has to be barcode reading, and that's what we're illustrating in, in some of the other presentations we we'll go through and show you how just a typical operation we go and find the files. Barcode reading allows everything to happen automatically. Thank you, thank you for your time. Um, and again, I can, I can continue to talk as Gigi would, 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 would continue to say. Here, didn't like what happened there. Here, get real true feedback as to actually why the system had stopped. Maybe it didn't like the barcode. Okay. Real system feedback, the operator now can intervene. So I encourage you, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to discuss how the laser, uh, Spartanix laser technology can help you be profitable.
Uh, Mike Bacon also is going to be available. Please come up and discuss. Our booth is uh, about three booths uh, north of here. We also have a laser die cutting system at Inc. International's booth where we've integrated laser die cutting along with digital printing all in one system. Thank you.